So you're gonna open up the window? Yeah, we need some air. Is it stuck? Yeah, sometimes this is gonna be a real pain. It's like somebody could come up with something and solve that issue. So what we do when the window sticks like that, Michelle's on the inside and I go to the outside, and then I use one of these right now, one of these equalizer sticks. And let me turn this around right there. And then you can see what we do is this just goes in gently and just releases just that little bit of suction on that window. And then we get it open. Yeah, <laughs> fresh air. Yay! Thank you. That method works great if it's a beautiful day, one of us is outside and one inside. But what if it's a rainy day? Or what if, you know, it's inclement weather? Or maybe you're not dressed maybe to go outside, but you need that window open. Our friends at No Locks have come up with this pain pins, and we're going to be installing these. And these are going to be mounted through the window frame and then it's going to give you the ability to just give that window that little nudge it needs to open up because the seals on that airstream seal so well that that window gets really tight i know a lot of people say that you can put some silicone around there some silicone spray or grease um, that's true that keeps that rubber a little more pliant and everything but it doesn't always mean that that's going to release because those windows when it gets hot that rubber gets just a little bit sticky and um, and the silicone is not going to alleviate that where these are going to help push that open and we're going to show you how these work airstream windows can stick sometimes and that's a real pain so what we're going to do is we're going to install something to take care of that pain and that's the brand new product by no locks right here they're brand new pain pins and they take the pain out of sticky windows of air streams and they're really similar to the old window poppers that you used to be able to get for your air stream but i guess they're improved i've never seen the original window poppers so i'm not certain but this is a nice looking thing and it's going to be i think a nice addition to this window on our air stream and no matter what you do or what kind of sealant you put on or silicone treatment or rubber treatment on these seals, they will in hot weather, the glass will stick to these seals. And then one of you has to go outside with something, a credit card, or um, we've been using a window detailing tool that works really well. And then you can lift and pop open the window a little bit, then it opens up really easily. But these pins should let us do it totally from the inside which is going to be great on a rainy day when one of us doesn't want to go outside and get all wet. So following their instructions, I've already marked a couple places right here. Michelle, I don't know if you can see this right here. If you get in a little closer right there, I put a little plus right there because we want the pins. They're going to mount in this way with this side being inside the airstream. This is going to stop them from coming through and then the pins will be there and they're going to push against the glass. This will push against the glass to push it open. So we have to make sure that they're high enough that it doesn't hit this. That wouldn't do us any good. So they have to clear this lip right here. So you've got to kind of measure it out, make sure you're where you need to be. So that'll clear that and all. And that's what I figure right about there is where I need to be. So I've got it on each side. According to the instructions, we need to drill a 3 16 hole for this. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a 3 16 drill bit out right here. And then we're going to chuck that into our drill. Right there. The thing we're going to do is we're going to use, I don't have a nail set. I gave up a lot of tools when we went on the road, but this is a hardened screw. I should be able to put a little dent right in there. And what that does is that's going to keep the drill bit from walking when we're drilling that out. So again, I'm going to put that right there. We're going to do this. We're going to put a little dent right there. This is a hardened screw from my friend Ron. Um, I had a few of these left over 
from last time we visited him and we're at his house and our cabinet had come loose. And I could peek up inside behind and this screw is actually snapped clean off here. And the instructions do say to have someone inside and holding with a board in there, but there's only two of us and I've got Michelle Philman. Hold on. Well, Michelle had this brilliant idea. We're gonna remove the cushions here um, so that we'll be able to clean this up a little better. Kind of see from the inside, of course, as always, the camera needs to focus on the screen, not what you're looking at. But uh, so anyway, that should work out really well. All right, so. We're gonna make a, a hole in our camper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gut check time, here we go. Now, this is where it's gonna take two of us. So I'm actually gonna send Michelle inside and she is going to work the inside stuff. So we'll get her in, get the camera set up inside and we'll show you how this works. Now I've taken off the spring and little neural nut right there off of this thing. Now this is gonna push through this hole right here, just like that. And then from the inside, Michelle is gonna put on the spring and then screw that little nut on. Go till it stops or? Yep. There we go. <clears throat> okay. So that is our first pain pin installed. Now, I think, Michelle, if you press on that, you'll see that it pushes in and then goes right back, just like that. And that'll help pop the window open. Same thing as before. Pin out of the bag. I'm going to take these two parts off right here the knurled nut and the spring, and give those to Michelle. And then the same as before, we're going to put this in right there. Then she's going to put on the spring and the knurled nut. Now it's time for the test. I think we need to close the window and see how these pins work. There we go. Works good. Seems too. Nice. Michelle was saying that our window is stuck. So for the first time, we get to try out our paint pins. Let me uh, flip the camera around here. There we go. Because the window, you can't get it open, right? Correct. So you pull that and you lift up. Normally, then I'd go outside and use that little tool and loosen that up. But we're going to try the paint pins so and let's see. Yep, you're just going to push on them. Look at that. <laughs> up it goes. That's awesome.